Michael, for people who haven't seen your film yet, The Bad News Bears, what would you like them to know before they go into the theater? Oh, tough question. I, I guess people think that it's uh, the story of the girl who sued Little League uh, to become a pitcher in New Jersey about four years ago. And uh, that's not what it is, and that's a very boring idea for a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I'd like them to know that it's that it's outrageous, that it's full of surprises, that it has kids acting the way kids have not acted in movies since our gang or the Little Rascals in the 30s. That is to say that they are outrageous, obnoxious, uh, but deep down lovable. And it's uh, gratified me that audiences here and elsewhere get so involved with the film that they start rooting for these little brats, uh, even before I would. And, and cheering for them, and even crying at times over some of the things that happen in the movie. And this is the first movie I've ever done that's gotten both laughter and tears, and it's very gratifying. You have in the starring roles Walter Matthau and Tatum O'Neill. Now, how did the two of them, they're both very strong personalities, and both Academy Award winners, what, what kind of a chemistry did they have? Well, they, uh, they hit it off immediately because they'd known each other before the film started. Matthau's got a 12-year-old named Charlie. They frequently go to the same kind of parties. You know, Tatum is very much into the Hollywood party scene, and uh, Walter takes his son Charlie to a lot. So uh, Walter was very helpful in getting Tatum to agree to uh, appear in the picture. I think one of the lures that he held out was that he would bring his slot machine to the set and let her play with it. <laughs> in working with children, it, it is more painstaking, and it can be very, very rewarding, but it, it, it's more um, time-consuming and all. As a, the director, how was it for you? It was very hard. Discipline was the biggest problem, because if you're going to encourage kids to be themselves, to ad-lib, to be outrageous and, and um, undisciplined, the moment you start sitting on them like a Marine Corps sergeant, the moment you start stifling that kind of raucous independence that we wanted. Uh, I mean, there's a good reason why all of children in Disney films uh, behave like little men and little women. They're forced to. I mean, there's a, it's a strong uh, over um, uh, management. And, uh, and so the, I think that that was the biggest tension, how to get them to avoid killing each other and at the same time uh, uh, keep the spontaneity. Picture. Oh, it's too early to say. I mean, I was very gratified when the candidate won an Academy Award for Best Screenplay because I felt I made a large contribution to that screenplay. But uh, the Academy Awards are basically a trade show, and they usually center on honoring those films that are made at the end of the year because they're still in release. And uh, um, so it's hard to say. Every, there's been a lot of good advance notice for Walter Matthau's performance. I think he was terrific in The Sunshine Boys. I think he's even better in this film. And maybe because he didn't get it for the Sunshine Boys, the Academy might come back and say, let's put him up there again this year. Uh, the kids themselves, it's hard to say because they're such an ensemble. I mean, there's so many terrific kids, but it's hard to single out one. And Tatum is just part of the ensemble. It's not really a co-star part as much as it is she's one of the bears. So it, it's, it's, uh, it's hard to predict, but I think everybody's going to enjoy it. Well, Michael, we wish you good luck with the film, and thank you very much for talking with us today. Thank you. And he's still rolling.